John 16 verse 32, NKJV. Indeed the hour is coming, yes, has now come, that you will be scattered, each to his own, and will leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I want you to understand what Jesus was going through at the time he uttered these powerful words, and let the magnitude of them sink in. He was about to be betrayed by Judas Iscariot, a man whom he had loved and walked with for the previous three and a half years. The rest of his disciples would abandon him, saving their own skins, when the soldiers came to arrest him. And Peter, the one who had walked on water to him, the bold and fearless one, would deny him outright in the face of persecution. Jesus had poured himself into these men, given them all that he had, and was about to suffer terribly for them, and for us. He would stand alone to face his accusers. He would be beaten and bruised alone. He would be nailed to the cross alone. He would hang on the cross, knowing his time had come, alone. He would die, alone. Or so it would seem to the natural eye. But he was not alone, not one step of the way. The Father was with him to the end, and into a new beginning for you and me. Let this resonate in your heart today, that no matter what you are going through, no matter who leaves you or forsakes you, no matter how painful your journey may be, Father is right there with you. Don't let the enemy convince you that you are alone, that nobody else understands, that you're the only one in the world going through what you're going through. It is a lie. Father God is with you every step of the way.